First, the USDA's Justice for All non-discriminatory statement, which simply states that all persons must be treated equally without regard to their race, color, national origin, sex, religious creed, disability, age, political beliefs, or reprisal or retaliation for prior civil rights activity, and that our institution provides an inclusive space for all. For more information on the And Justice for All statement, please visit the USDA's website. Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining Rutgers Cooperative Extension of Camden County's Department of Family and Community Health Sciences. Today, we're going to be talking about fruits and vegetables, why it's important to eat them, how much you should be eating, and give you some ideas in terms of how you can add them into your day. First, let's talk about the recommendation. So the MyPlay recommendation for fruits and vegetables is four and a half cups a day. That is two cups of fruit and two and a half cups of vegetables per day. It's important to try and get to that four and a half cups every day. That way you can get all the vitamins and nutrients and fiber from those fruits and vegetables. In a previous video, We've gone over the pros and cons of fresh and frozen foods. Today, we're going to be adding canned into that conversation. So if you haven't had a chance to watch that video from before, we're actually going to be going over some of that information again. And we're also going to give you some tips in terms of how to shop for these. Let's start off with fresh. Some of the pros for fresh, you're going to have a lot of different variety. Remember, fresh fruits and vegetables will always change during the season. And that also means that when they are in season, it's going to be cheaper. It's also going to have a fresher taste to them. The downside is you need to use them a lot quicker so they don't last as long. And also they need to be stored properly. For frozen, fruits and vegetables are frozen at right when they're at their best. So when they are ripe and have all their vitamins and nutrients, that also means that they're going to have a longer shelf life and they're going to be available year round. Some of the downsides though is they will, might have added ingredients like salt or sugar or fat and also the texture is going to change during the freezing process. Finally, we go on to canned. Canned and frozen are really similar. They're preserved right when those fruits and vegetables are at their best, so they have all of their vitamins and nutrients. They're also going to have a longer shelf life, and you can find them all year round. The downside for both, they might have added salt, sugar, and fat, and the texture changes when they're getting preserved. So here's some tips when buying these items. When buying fresh, try and purchase them in season. That way you can save some money. And when you get home, put them at eye level. That way they get used up faster. For frozen, look, out, look at those ingredient lists. Make sure you're pick, choosing items with no added salt, sugar, or fat. And when you're storing them, put them away at under zero degrees Fahrenheit to prevent nutrient loss. And finally, for canned, when choosing canned vegetables, choose the ones that are low in salt and low in fat. When choosing fruit, choose canned fruit in 100% juice with no added sugar to them. And a tip for using these items, drain and rinse them off before using them. That way you can wash off some of the excess salt or sugar. So here are some takeaways for today. Remember, you want to try and eat a variety of different colored fruits and vegetables. There are a lot of different colors. You want to make sure you're getting all that fiber, all the vitamins and nutrients. When you can't find your favorite fresh fruit and vegetable, try and buy frozen and canned fruits and veggies. And finally, watch out for any added ingredients like salt and sugar in frozen and canned items. Thank you so much for tuning in. Feel free to swim by our Facebook page to watch some of our older videos and recipes where we have other tips and tricks for you.